if you have a bunch of onions left over in your pantry from your harvest or you just bought too many, come along with me and I'll show you how to save some space, dehydrate them, and just put them on your pantry shelf. Welcome back to the Fermented Homestead. Today I'm going to bring you along while I dehydrate onions. We ran out of onions in our pantry and my husband really prefers the dehydrated onions over fr the fresh onions when he's making soups and things like that. So we have all of these onions that my dad gave me last year and they're getting ready to go south so we're going to save as many of those as we can. And I went to Costco and got a big bag of onions as well. If you've never tried dehydrated onions, I really recommend it. They're kind of just already caramelized and they're just really good. They re rehydrate really easily. So come on with me and I'll show you my process. separated out this is the the dirty outer leaves and all the roots and things so these are going to go to the compost and then I have the peeled onions over here these ones uh, we're going to process further of these. Um, I tried dad. So now we're just going to peel them. to the Costco onions. Next, we're gonna chop these up into little squares, about a half an inch. I tried once using the, the Vidalia chopper and it just, I don't like it. Or at least I don't for onions, I haven't tried it for anything else. So um, I'm, I just like to chop them by hand. I chop them in big enough pieces that it's pretty easy to do by hand and pretty quick. So we're gonna get started on that. And then we're gonna put them in the pot that's right behind me that's, that's just about to boil. And then cook them in there for about two minutes and then we're gonna move them over to a cold water bath, strain them, and put them on the dehydrator tray, so.
I like to get the onions all chopped up as quickly as I can so that by the time they're done and ready to go in the hydrator, I'm done cutting the onions. So this batch was successful. Alright. Those needed more time. Spreading these out. They shrink a lot, so I'm not super careful about how I spread them on here. cooking all of these onions is delicious and I just add it to soups and pot roasts and uh, just about anything that takes liquid uh, for the most part and it's supposed to be savory so it's delicious you should totally give it a try so you can see they get kind of translucent here's the cooked one and here's the raw one Maybe not the best example, but it's a thing. This is definitely the most boring part. It's a bit of hurry up and wait. projects going on here today. I have the ginger tea uh, on going, some chicken broth, and hot roast for dinner. So there's some background butter. And there it goes. Set the timer. Let's try five minutes this time. Yeah, here's a much better example. Here's the trim. Get my face out of the way there. The translucent. In the cook or the raw. Onion broth. It's amazing. 
You can lit it up just like that if you put it in the refrigerator. And after a little bit of time, when it cools down, it'll form a vacuum and it'll just stay for, well, until you open it, the, va the uh, until you open it, the seal will be there. Once you open it, it won't, but it'll last until then. One tray to spare. Last time I dehydrated these, they took about, they probably would have taken about 18 hours, but they were almost done, but not quite before I went to bed. So I turned the heat down and then they were just done in the morning. So we're gonna do, go ahead and do that. And then now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So they should be done by the time I wake up in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna go through and shift all these around after they get some time on the dehydrator just to get them evenly dehydrated. And I'll bring them back for the final result. It's about two days later. The onions were ready uh, when I got home from work yesterday, but I just didn't have time to process them. So now we are going to go ahead and take them all out of the dehydrator, put them in jars and set them up for later. In this process, all I do is just have a big giant metal bowl. Peel them off, get any leftovers. And the way I found to do it is I just flip them upside down and I turn them inside out like this and I just go around. And there's always some left and I just pick them off. and repeat. We're done with that portion of it. Now all I do is you can see they're all kind of stuck together. I just go through and squish them. Okay, let's see what we get. Here we go. We have a, a, probably about 12 or 13 pounds of onions all into two jars ready to put on the shelf. They won't go bad anytime soon, certainly not before we go through them. So if you guys are interested in how to do this, I really recommend it. They also just, they taste delicious. Um, when you rehydrate them, you can put them in soups, stews, stir fries, um, really anything you'd like to use them for. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you use this as inspiration to go and dehydrate the onions that are in your pantry. <laughs>